Hi everybody. Okay, so I wanted to create this video so that I could show you um, this resource because I, I love this. This is what I use actually to create all the videos for our course. Um, and so this is the web address. It's screencast-o-matic, but you don't have to type in the hyphens. You can just type in screencast-o-matic.com just like that. And then this website will pop up as such. Um, I actually have a very inexpensive subscription to this website just because I create some longer videos for you, but you're actually able to create free videos, start recording for free. You can start recording free videos, um, up to 15 minutes in length. So if you want to go beyond 15 minutes, then it will cost you something. But, um, if you're creating 15 minute videos, then um, it will cut off at like 15.01 and um, then you've got a video that you can save. Um, so if I were to click this right now, <laughs> it's going to take you to a screen like this. I'm actually using it right now to record this video. So this is a little tricky trying to show you this, but um, I'm going to say launch recorder and see here where it says recorder is recording. Um, it's because I'm using it right now, but once you're done, you can see all of these videos that I've that I've recorded um, using this. There's so so many. <laughs> okay, um, so okay, um, but yeah, so you can kind of see there's so many <laughs> that I've created here um, in order to you know. <laughs> This is just the last eight recordings that I've done, but um, obviously there are many, many more that you will be seeing this week and beyond. Um, the other cool thing about this is just you need to know about this as a teacher. I think that's really important. Um, another reason is because you can create scripted videos as well, um, where it will actually uh, write it'll record the script of everything that you're saying and let it appear on screen as you're saying it so this is great to make this um, available to those who um, may have uh, an impairment so that they're then able to refer to the video um, and just you know to see what you're saying or um, to review notes or something like that it's just an incredible tool for that so that's all it's just it took a few minutes to talk about but I mean yeah that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it what I also love about this recorder other than the fact that it's free and really easy to use when you say launch recorder you're gonna get a screen that's gonna pop up just like this and um, you can see here that you have the option of doing uh, just screen. You can do webcam, and that would webcam. So the screen would be the screen that we see before us. Okay, your computer screen. Webcam is you'll probably use webcam um, so that we can see you, right? We can see the book that you're holding, so on and so forth. Or you can do a little bit of both. Like if you had the book on your computer screen, for example, if you had a digital copy of the book and you were reading it to us, um, then you could actually have it on the screen. You could do a picture in picture, which you've seen on some of the videos I've done for you, um, where we'll be able to see you and then we'll be able to see your screen at the exact same time as you're talking. And then you'll just hit this button here, record. This will show you that the mic is working or not okay so you'll as you do it like a little testing testing this will go up to show that it's it is picking up your voice you hit record you record your video and um that's pretty much it when you're ready to stop you just go down here and you hit you know stop recording and then you have the option of saving your video so make sure you save it and the the last thing i love about this um it's so easy to use, but other the other thing is you get to save the video and it automatically saves it. You can save it to your computer. It saves it in, as an MP4, which is much easier to upload online for the purpose of uploading this assignment to the assignment link. I love that. I love the fact that you can upload that MP4 so much faster than if you were to create a QuickTime video. And I'm not 
an expert in, you know, saving different formats of videos or converting them. I mean, you can just do a quick Google to figure out how to do that. Um, but I know, I do know that QuickTime videos are bigger files and they just take longer to upload. They take forever to upload um, in Blackboard. So don't use QuickTime for this. I would definitely recommend that you use this. The MP4 uploads really nicely, really well. The other thing is, as you're making your video, if you're making a free video, there's a timer down here and it, it's counting the time as you're talking. So once it gets close to 15, you'll know whether you're going to make it or not, okay, or whether you need to either refilm or whether you just need to film um, a longer video or maybe um, multiple videos in order to, to finish your presentation. Okay, that is about it. I hope that you have fun using this tool. Um, it's really, really user-friendly. Um, and if you have questions, please let me know.